Hello, and welcome to the CDP Virtual Education Center in Second Life. I'm Kelly Crestman, one of the instructors here, and I'm going to orient you to a few things that you need to know to get the most out of your workshop experience here on the SEM. The first thing you need to know is how to get up to the auditorium. If you look behind me, you'll see a teleport directly to the Educational Center. When you arrive at the landing point, just click on that teleport, and you'll land right in front of the building. You'll want to proceed directly to the check-in desk. Go ahead, click on the roster to check in, and you'll get a dialog box giving you a couple of reminders of things to do before the workshop. Go ahead and click Thanks, and you'll get a second dialog box. This one is pretty important. Go ahead and click Yes. And this will allow the viewer to attach the attendee HUD to your screen. There are a lot of buttons on that HUD, but don't worry, I'm going to explain them all when we get into the auditorium. But first, I want to show you how to get your handouts. Over to my right, you see the stacks of handouts. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll get a web link in a dialog box. Click on the web link, not on OK, and that will bring you to a web page where the handouts will download right to your computer. Now you can click OK to get rid of the dialog box. Once you've picked up your handouts and gotten your HUD, you can proceed to the auditorium. Once you've arrived in the auditorium, use your mouse to hover over the available seats, get a sit target, and sit down. You'll notice that your camera angle is the default Second Life view just a little above and to the rear of your avatar. Now this is where the attendee HUD comes in. If you want to look at the podium, click the little podium button and you'll get a close-up of the podium. If you want to look at the media board behind, click the media board. The last two buttons give you a front and a rear view of the audience. If you actually prefer to use the Second Life camera controls, you can escape out of the attendee HUD at any time by clicking the first camera button. And then you'll be able to pan and zoom as usual using your Second Life controls instead. The gesture menu gives you some ways to interact with the speaker and the rest of the attendees. You can raise and lower your hand, clap, and respond to the speaker in a variety of ways. When the vote menu is active, you'll be able to participate in polls with the rest of the audience. And when the Q&A menu is active, you'll be able to ask questions and have the speaker respond. The Tech Help menu brings up a dialog box where you can submit questions to our technical support staff. When you submit your question, someone will read it and get to you as soon as possible. Another good way to get tech help is to look around the auditorium for one of our technical support people wearing a blue tech help bubble above their heads. You can click on that bubble and get the same dialog box. Finally, I want to show you the breakout rooms. In most of our workshops, the presenter will break the audience up into small groups for practice. To make it easy for you to find where you need to be, the presenter will send you a link in your chat to teleport to a breakout room with a couple of your colleagues. All you need to do is click on that link and teleport to the correct breakout room. Let me show you how that works. I automatically land in the correct breakout room. Pretty cool, huh? All of the breakout rooms are set up like small conference rooms. There's a whiteboard for you to make notes. The instructions for using the whiteboard are right next to it on the wall. There's a media board where you can get the handouts if you haven't already gotten them. You can IM an instructor if you have questions. And you can look at media if media has been loaded for you to review in the breakout room. When you finish with the breakout, 
you'll get a teleport in a dialog box to return to the main conference room. If you miss the teleport dialog box, or you need to leave your breakout room early, you can use the teleport sign that's located in each conference room. Now that you've gotten an idea about what's possible with the attendee HUD, feel free to come to the island at any time and pick up a HUD and try it out for yourself. The more you practice, the easier it will be to use. Most of all, enjoy your workshop and have fun in Second Life.